If you're struggling with vertical stainless steel stick welding and getting issues such as undercut, saggy welds or slag that just won't cooperate, in today's video we're going to be showing you some techniques and answering some of those most common questions welders have about welding stainless steel in the vertical position. To achieve this weld we're going to be running 55 amps to ensure we don't blow through the material as we're only working on 3mm thick stainless steel. We're using 2.5316 stainless steel rods on electrode positive. For the first run we maintain a tight arc with the rod angled upwards. This technique helps keep the weld flat, reducing the risk of sagging and ensuring proper fusion along those side walls. By achieving a flat initial run we create a smooth foundation for the second pass, preventing any complications during our layering. One of the main problems with stainless steel stick rods is they overheat as you're working your way down the rod. Because stainless steel doesn't dissipate heat as much as like mild steel does, so getting those amp settings correct is crucial. As you can see the completed run is nice and flat and you can see all the restarts are tied in nicely which gives us a solid base to move on to our second pass. For the second pass we're using 3.25 millimeter rods with 75 amps which sits well in the middle of the recommended rod range. This provides better coverage ensuring sufficient weld metal has been put down. On this run we're using a weave technique so pausing at the sides is crucial to eliminate that undercut. As you gain experience with stainless rods you'll recognize the importance of increasing your travel speed as the rods burn down. This prevents overheating in the centre of the run where that sagging mostly occurs. One of the other reasons we pause on the sides is to allow one side of the weld pool to solidify while adding new metal to the opposite side. This continuous process helps control heat input preventing the entire weld pool from becoming fully molten across the weave. If the pool remains too fluid it can lead to excessive sagging and lack of control over the weld shape and profile which on stainless steel as any experienced welder knows it is unforgiving when it comes to heat management. So with the run completed we chip off the slag so as you see we've managed to control the heat and keep that profile as flat as we can. If you think vertical's tough we've also completed an overhead fillet weld for you to see. The video for that's on screen now you won't want to miss that one. <laughs> 